Well, what a spectacle that women's doubles was here from the Tatsiak Multisport Pavilion in Macau. We've been treated on this climatic Sunday finals day. Three finals have elapsed and we've still got two to come. Men's singles will be bringing you next. But uh, let's just recap briefly over what happened. Mixed doubles, Pavel Anukro and Tara Tanachai, the Thai top seeds coming through. Third title for them this year. Michelle Lee, birthday girl defending her champion again against uh, last year's opponent, a repeat of the 2018 final here in the Macau Open. And then the women's doubles, Du Yue and Li Yinhui, top seeds coming through against the second seeds from Thailand. Now then, Shi Yu Chi, top seed, takes on Sithikom Thamasin of Thailand. Here's the HSBC race to Guangzhou. And as you can see, neither of the players are near at the moment. I think Xi Yuqi was something like 54th in the race coming into the tournament uh, off the top of my head. But that's how the land lies. Kento Momota, who's had another standout year. Jonathan Christie from Indonesia, what an athlete he is. And Cho Chen Chen, nothing near for him. And of course, the recent French Open champion, Chen Long number four, Victor Atzison back. Good to see him back and recovered from injury. And talking of that, well, as regards injury, of course, we all know about Shi Yu Chi, the reigning HSBC BWF World Tour Finals champion of last year. He uh, had a bad ankle tear in uh, the Indonesian Open in July, but he's come back really strong here, and he's uh, been playing some terrific badminton to get through to today's final. Downing, Kantafon Wang Chiro in the third seed in some style yesterday. That was a, a real epic, that one. And what about the Thai warrior down below? Took out the 2016 World Junior Boys Singles Champion, Sun Face Young, down by Sithikon Thamasin. But here is Shi Yu Chi coming towards center stage, taking it all in his stride. And he really is a class act, this man, isn't he? Former world number two, that was only back in May of this year. But he's going to have another tough workout today against the streaky, talented Thai Thamasin. Won the Swiss Open title earlier this year, did Shi Yuchi. But he's been reassuring and steady as the class act up to now. What of today? Can he continue in that vein? Take a major stride towards the title here. He needs to start well because this man is very, very gifted. Sithikyon Thamasin. Just uh, one spot off a career high ranking of 21 in the world. 22 as we speak, but uh, that was a ranking to be achieved back in July when he won the Akita Masters. He's made three semi-finals as well. And, uh, one of them was here last year. Denied in the semi-finals back then in the last four. Another was the Sayad Mordi International and the Korea Masters as well. But he's also had 16 first round or second round losses and then put in a really good showing at the quarterfinals of the recent Denmark Open. He's a streaky player, but he's never taken a game from Shi Yu Chi. That was the last showing of the Badminton Asian Championships, another straight game loss for the man in red. But it really is a tough ask when Shi Yu Chi is on. He's just great to watch. 23 years old. Two years older than his uh, Thai opponent. Born in Jiangsu, China. Four spots off his career high of uh, May. Hunting a second title this year. Having won in Basel earlier in the year. His path through. Well, he used to be comfortable. Well, saying that, the opening round actually against the Frenchman, Lucas Clebo was really tough. Chi Yu Chi had to hang on for dear life. He saved three match points and then was rather liberated by that. Came out with some terrific back-to-back -back performances against Ren and then Zhao 
both uh, of China. And then against Mike Chirou in yesterday. What of this man, Sithikom Tomasin? 24 years old. Bangkok born. One spot off that career high of 22 back in July of this year. Three semi final showings for him this year. And uh, this is his path through. Again, fairly emphatic, just uh, twice lost a game. Good work yesterday. He's been extended in some quite long matches, too, that have gone the other side of an hour, but so has his opponent today. And you'd put money on the fact that Tamasin, having been playing whilst Chi Yu Chi was injured and laid up with that ligament tear in the ankles, would be uh, perhaps in better shape. Our umpire from Korea, Jion Suk Hun, and the service judge just opposite from Holland. So Shi Yu Chi, who's played some really commanding badminton, and we've had the luxury of watching him play a couple of times on the main court here. I even managed to snuck in, sneak in an extra look at him on my day off to see how he was going on, and he was playing some really good badminton. This man will have his work cut out. Men's singles final then, just about to get underway. China against Thailand, Shi Yu Chi taking on Sithikom Thamassin. be to trouser the winner's check of just over 11,000 US dollars. Runner-up walks away with almost 6,000. Well, for a big, strong man at six foot, this man here really has silky hand skills around the net. He's got a lovely touch to complement that power, and he's very explosive. And his control of the shuttle is quite mesmerizing when he's on, and he has been on here for all of the matches that I've witnessed. I didn't see his first round match against Clearville, but, uh, well, he managed to survive what was a tricky day and opponent. Currently the Thai number two behind Cantafon Wang Chiroen is Thamassin. Just some instructions being barked out from the coach.
Starting to squeeze Shiyuchi. First round of the match so far, 28 shots. He's testing that ankle, which has been very robust, and he's behind him, really. Back to full health. Done. That's the signature strike from she Loves that off smash winner. On the diagonal. Just hitting the inside of the shuttle a little. former world number two in these kind of lengthy exchanges such as his high level of fitness normally that said if this is his first serious tournament back that was kind of questionable but he's answered his critics really well and he's come up with answers time and again showing real character and class Shiyuchi a man that already has two wins over Kento Momota and that takes some doing Done. He's got all the skills, has the Nassim. But does he have the belief? That's nicely done. Wonderful cross net off the backhand wing. Richly talented, <laughs> uber disguised, that one. This is the thing with the former world number two can just suddenly turn it on at will. Look at the deception there. Masterful. And even with, what was it, three, four months out of competitive badminton, he's come back very, very strong. Plenty of good practice partners back home, that's for sure. But he's looked after himself and his fitness. Wonderful body liner from Thamassin. Handcuffing Shiyuchi, who has a knack of gliding around the court seemingly effortlessly. 
He was tested yesterday, though, by uh, Wang Chiro, and that was a long, grueling affair. Hour and 13 minutes. As was the man in red. He had an hour and 17 minutes on court against Sun Feixiang. Gorgeous to watch, isn't it, when he's on like that? It just makes the game look so easy. And wherever he plays, there's this sort of whole hub of Chinese fans that just come running over to, to the back of the court wherever he's playing. On Thursday night, he played down on, well, when there was three courts on one of the end courts, and they just absolutely mobbed all of the seats when he took to court. Fans' favourite. And that's why... Class act, there's the definition right there. Something very special. Shi Yu Chi, 11 8 to the good in this opening game. He's got that Shi Yu Chi swagger back as well, hasn't he? You know he's feeling confident. He looks very relaxed out here. Shi so heralded and decorated, having won the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals last year on the grandest of stages in Guangzhou. There's a thing or two about dealing with occasions like this. A blip on the radar there for Shi Yu Chi. Thamassin upping the pace midpoint. Gets his way in the end. That's the big thing, isn't it? Can he sustain great badminton? the highest tempo. She will ask a lot of tough questions today. A little too greedy there. of applause for that response from the Thai athlete. Assuming that this man practices with Cantafon Wang Chiron on a regular basis, I'm sure they'll be good pals and have exchanged tactical 
viewpoints. Wang Chiron having been put in his place yesterday by Xi. But it's one thing knowing what to do against a player of such stature, the other side of the net as Xi. It's another executing the plan. Like a magician with a wand in his hand, Chi Yu Chi there. What disguise. Let's see it again here in slow mo, see if we can pick it. Rams that one down the line, then goes back behind. Wow. There was no reading that. And Sithikon Thamasin just rooted to the spot, as would everybody have been situation. Perhaps not Momota. Quite something. Setting sail for home now in this opening game. Well, he sold him the line smash. The other way, just a slight of the wrist. Still a six-point cushion for Shi Yu Chi, who looks pretty comfortable around here. Great to watch. The class action Yuchi romps to the opening game. 21 points to 12. Halfway towards his second title of the year. Not bad when he spent a portion of it out injured. Fine start from Shi Yuchi. 21 12, just after a quarter of an hour play.
Well, he's got a lot of coach input, hasn't he? A couple of uh, men in his ear. He's a jewel of the Chinese team, this man, playing at number two in the Sudaman Cup last year to victory. A really pivotal position just behind oh. Chen Long. Here we go then, game two. Chi Yu Chi against the good. Thomasin has played 35 matches this year. He's won 16 of them, so he's pretty honed and battle hard. Oh, yes. Great defense from the tie. With it comes a three-love lead. He'll be pleased with himself right now, but can he hold on? Once the shuttle changed. Challenge here. Waving the racket upwards is just about all he wants to do. He just looks a little lethargic, doesn't he? Now, whether that's fatigue setting in over the course of what's been a long week's campaign here in Macau, but he has a very sort of languid, efficient game style, you know, the way that he plies his trade. Let's have a look. It is out, yeah, there it is, confirmed as wide. Still got one more challenge to go. So 20 minutes have elapsed and Lamerson has turned a corner. I think it's coupled with the fact that he's turned the corner, but Shi Yu Chi has stalled his car a little. We're using metaphors. He needs to rejoin the party pretty quickly. Because the Massin has indicated by his endeavor this week that he's keen to go all the way here in Macau. Lost it in the lights, was that kind of look. Laps here. Tomasin will be keen to derail 
Shi Yu Chi. There's no doubting that. He's getting his teeth into this one. Now, is this where the former world number two wakes from a momentary nap? Well, this is just a little indication of just how good Shi Yu Chi is, his ability to suddenly, you know, be right down on the scoreboard and then suddenly just surge to the next level, seemingly on tap. He's up the intensity, you can see it. Really starting to pedal around the court pretty quickly. He's tearing about now. There's an urgency in that point. He wants to get this done in straight games. in that point and it goes the way of Famasin creditably a wonderful point from the red-shirted athlete Nine, just casting a glance over the net to see how Shiyuchi has dealt with that you know having had such a long time out away from the game just checking on his fitness level his body language he'll be buoyed by that point Famasin Oh, that's nice. Super nice. <laughs> it just comes out with these little gems of points when you least expect it. Such is his high skill level, Shi Yu Chi. Still in touch here. see at the moment from Shi Yuchi as he trudges back towards his towel almost reluctantly just wants to get on with things he looks a little I don't know is he his, his body language just looks a little bit labored almost like he is fatigued over the sort of passings of the last week I'm sure he is but you know, you'd imagine he wouldn't really want to give those signals away just be a psychological boost to Thomasin. Now, this time in game two, a bit of a turnaround here. Sithikon Thomasin has headed to the turn with the advantage himself, a four-point advantage, 11-7. You're turning in the tide here.
So can the red-shirted Thai athlete Hammerson hold on to the advantage in game two? Misjudgment there. Plum on the line. He'll be fully wary and alerted to the fact that Shi Yuchi can just suddenly flick the switch. There's the signature again. Loves that pattern of play. Surprised that uh, Thomasin wasn't up to that. But he's so versatile with the smash. He, you know, as well as he goes cross here, he can just hammer that down the line. I guess it was a sort of slightly short uh, uh, lift away. That was the issue. Too many options. Lucky bobble off the top of the net in favour of shoot. Mathamassin's uh, spotted some sweat on the court. He wants the attendant back on and just a chance to step off stage and sort of keep the scoreboard pressure on Shi. Terrific industry shown by Thamassin here. He's really into this, giving his all. He needs to. He needs to be redlining at 10 out of 10 if he's to sneak a game against Shi Yuchi, something that he didn't do when they last met. Got good pace, and that buckled Chi momentarily, and then sort of knocked him off balance, and that takes some doing. Three point advantage again. He had a four point advantage heading into the turn at 11 7, did Thamassin, and he's still holding on well here, showing a lot of character. Take his way out of this slumber again. I mean, I guess you could say that Thomasin's raised the bar so high that she's actually really struggling to keep up with him right now. This is terrific play and just looking at the top seed a little lackadaisical. I hate to criticize. But he is human anyhow. Well done. That's just good play. Good work from the serve.
better from Sheen. Momentarily halting the run of points from his opponent. GUT responded to adversity so well yesterday against Cantafon Wang Chiroin coming through, having dropped that second game. But that's in here on course for game two if he can keep on this road. He can't allow himself a wrong turn. He's got to keep that satellite navigation system fully booted up keep the intensity any little blip and this man will be in good Testing the former world number two right now. All of his tournaments contested this year have stood him in good stead. This game really racing away now from Shi Yuchi. And that's in three points from drawing level. Oh, he didn't do that, did he? He had the whole court to play with. Well, that'll frustrate him. He's won six of the last seven points. <laughs> I barely believe it. Two in a row for the laboured top seed. But it's been very hit and miss from Xi in this game, anyhow. He was much tidier in the opener. He's got to be careful. Dripping sweat, that's the issue. Shown a lot of character here. Sithikon. 22, causing problems. Here we go then. We are going to have a deciding game because the Thai athlete Thomasin has just taken game two quite emphatically as well. 21 points to 14. We continue in Macau. Go anyway.
Many thought it might be a straight game affair in favor of this man after what happened. The complexion of the match winning the opening game 21 16. Not so. Sithikon Thamassin has come roaring back. Taking game two, 21 points to 14. Here we are then at the start of game three. A shootout to 21 points to grab the glory here in Macau. there from Chi Yu Chi. Now he sense he's really going to have to invest a lot more intensity in game three here. Certainly the start of it to get ahead. Nicely done. Mirroring the previous point. But in his favor this time. seem to find what he's looking for can he his eyes are wandering around he looks uncomfortable out there and well, entirely himself Thamassin has still kept a very high level the roles have kind of reversed since 20 minutes or so ago Run of four points, that is, for Sithikon. Chi Yu Chi has to get in right now. Ties becoming more and more encouraged and positive. It's one-way traffic right now, and it's not going to favor of the top seed. Oh, oh there's like a sort of din of background noise as the word is going round that there might be a massive upset. Barely believe it. Seven consecutive points for Sithikon Thamassin. Nicely done. Doesn't look like she has pushed the panic button yet, but he still looks rather lethargic. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. think at this stage is that there might be some sort of repercussions from the ankle of Shi Yu Chi who just looks like a boxer who's been punched in the face numerous times yeah he's struggling to move it becoming quite apparent right now it was the ankle ligaments that were rolled in July maybe there is a slight recurrence of that Well closed. But he doesn't look comfortable out there. Something's up. <laughs> you can tell by the body language right here. It's a hang dog look. I'm sure you cheat. Yeah, there's a look of resonation about it from Xi. And it's Sithikon Thamassin who romps to an 11-2 advantage in game three. This is lopsided unexpectedly. Many numb at the side of this. The Thai fifth seed in charge of this match right now. perception of things but the way that he strolled away from both Chinese coaches a little disinterested indicates that something's all right so there's no recurrence of that injury but you can't rule it out as a possibility right now Sithikon Thamassin serving with an 11-2 advantage in this deciding game here for the title out of the match and, and, and forfeit at this stage but he's still out there and you've got to pay credit to that from a pride of performance situation and the fact that he doesn't perhaps want to let the tournament down but he simply doesn't look himself right now there's been the odd sparkling of brilliance from Shi Yu Chi, but very little lately. That left ankle is heavily strapped with a skin kind of color tape that's hard to pick up on. We've had a challenge here. Let's see uh, how it turned out. Shi Yu Chi left that one, and that's the reason why it was just out. Oh, yes. 
City Gomp from Asin is tearing around the court keenly right now. He knows something's up the other side of the net, and he's not letting up. He's put together a really good match. And again, he smashes another away thunderously with authority. Well, it seems Shinyuchi is done with this one. Oh. Oh, mercifully, that one spilt over the back line. Been on court ten minutes shy of an hour. Is it irrecoverable? Oh. The multi sport pavilion here is rather like a library right now. People can't quite believe what they're seeing, they've been shocked into silence. Because Shi Yuchi isn't giving anything away facially, so it's hard to pick up on the fact of what exactly is wrong. There's been no wincing or grimacing. But Sithikon Thamasin continues to roll along nicely. So another challenge in reasonably quick succession. Yeah, that's how it's well. Sorry, sir, isn't it? Uh, anybody gets injured, you wish them all the very best, and uh, no more so than Shi Yu Chi, because he's provided such rich entertainment when he has been fully fit here to get to the final. Yeah, it's laboured movement, it's clear to see. And it's uh, becoming a tough watch. Showboating there. takes it on its first time of asking. After 53 minutes, Sithikon Thamassin, semi-finalist here last year in Macau, has caused a seismic upset and gone two better this year. He's absolutely delighted. He's come through in a lopsided third game against Shi Yu Chi, who is fairly apparently troubled by some kind of injury. But it is the Thai number two who has come through in three games. 21 7 in the decider. There's confirmation of the full score. Shi Yu Chi, who took the opening game, was denied thereafter. Sithikon Thamassin coming through 12 21, 21 14, 21 7. 50 
three minutes of action. So the tie takes the title. And that's his first of this season. Well, you could see the body language of Shi Yu Chi as he trudges from the court, rather dejected. You can understand why it was mid-July when he rolled that ankle in Indonesia. And he, it might be a different injury, I'm not sure, but I could sense some sort of limping in his movement in that third game. And it seems something happened in game two, but we won't know. Maybe it'll come out in the press. But anyhow, let's not take uh, any of the credit away from the Thai athlete who played a terrific match, Sithikon Thamassin through the fifth seed to win the men's singles at the Macau Open 2019. Such a strong game in game one from Shi Yu Chi. 21 points to 12. And then suddenly, this man kind of ignited, got really physical, up the tempo, started smashing with more vigor and authority, the man in red. And, uh, well, then, you noticed a, a real head slump in the body language of the 23-year-old Chinese. And, uh, well, there wasn't an awful lot thereafter. But uh, Thamassin kept the tempo up throughout the match, kept his foot to the pedal, and got the job done. And that is a real feather in his cap. A terrific upset in favor of the Thai player. So a very watchable match, but a shame that it had to end in that way. But at least Shi Yu Chi had the uh, dignity to see it through. Let's wish him well in his recovery. It's been quite a year for Shi Yu Chi. But the smiles belong to the tie number two. Sithikon Thamassin, the fifth seed of tie number two comes through to take the men's singles time. So just waiting on the uh, prize ceremony. Our cameras to assemble the dignitaries with them. We've still got the men's doubles final to bring you. We'll be coming up next after the prize ceremony. So remember, there's still plenty more action to go. We've still another four tournaments, World Tour level tournaments, that is, uh, in this season's calendar. We've got the Fuzhou China Open next week, then the Hong Kong Open, then the Guangzhou Korea Masters, and then the Syed Modi International as well to finish off the year, all leading up to the December show. He's right, we're ready. Let the presentation begin. Distinguished guest, ladies and gentlemen, the awarding ceremony of men's singles of the 2019 Macau Open Badminton, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour, is about to begin. Let's introduce our distinguished guests. Mr. Kong Tat Choi, President of Badminton Federation of Macau and President of the Organizing Committee of 2019 Macau Open Badminton, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. Absolute Protest Boss, Yao Han Kongsi Dongsi, Zhang Tian Hong Nadok. Datuk Ronnie Chong, Managing Director of Absolute Protest Boss Limited. Mr. Liu Wei, Deputy Director of the Department of Publicity and Culture of Liaison Office of the Central People's Government in Macau Special Administrative Region Government. 
Now let's welcome the medalists to the stage. The runner-up of men's singles of the 2019 Macau Open Badminton, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour, goes to Shen Yuqi from China. The champion of men's singles of the 2019 Macau Open Badminton, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour, goes to Thai Kwoke Tat Ma Sen. Siki Kong Tam Ma Sin from Thailand. May we invite Mr. Conte Choi, President of Badminton Federation of Macau and President of the Organizing Committee of 2019 Macau Open Badminton, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour, to award the medals. Now may we invite Datuk Ronnie Chong, Managing Director of Absolute Protest Boss Limited, to award the flowers. May we invite Mr. Liu Wei, Deputy Director of the Department of Publicity and Culture of Liaison Office of the Central People's Government in Macau Special Administrative Region Government to award the prize money. May we invite our guest to take the group photo with the medalists. Thank you, guests. Congratulations to the medalists. Well, Sithikon Thamassin enjoying the adulation, hard earned, but he passes the Macau test with honours, showing a lot of character coming through. A tricky week, some long battles. Coming up next, we've got men's doubles for you. Li and Liu from China take on Huang Keqiang and Liu Chong.